there's a great guy whose information is mostly accurate uh, from the Columbus Zoo. Please welcome our friend Jack Hanna. We have little animals coming out in a minute, so we're going to have to be quiet with our applause going to breaks and stuff. And I want to say, because I know there's a lot of debate, people have, uh, some people are against zoos, some people are for zoos for different right. reasons. Um, the reason I have animals on the show, I, no one loves animals more than me. I, I'm convinced of it. And I just feel like the more we learn about animals, the more we understand their uniqueness, their intelligence, their purpose in the world. We stop respecting just dogs and cats, but we respect every animal on this planet. So that's why I have them on. So. Uh, thank you. Okay. I think, I think too, Ellie, uh, the misnomer is that about 99% 99 of our animals in zoological parks come from other zoos, not the wild. That's, right. that's the main thing. And as you just said, education is our number one goal because unless people can learn to love something, which you just said in a zoo, then why do they want to save something? We try and teach that love uh, communication to folks because 99% of the people in the world can never go to Africa or South America. So right. that's what we try and do. Right. Well, let's uh, let's meet the first All animal right. that you have. This is a bush baby. This is a bush baby. All right. And what you're seeing oh, here. She's coming towards me. <laughs> Am I holding the baby first? Thank you, yes. Mel. You okay. Can hold him there. Okay. And you can give him a grape or a cookie or okay. a craisin. Would you, you like that. a grape or a cookie or a. <laughs> no. You'd like to be scratched where? Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. <laughs> but this is a little uh, baby. a bush baby, everyone. And a bush baby, everybody, is a prosimian, prosimian, which means pre-monkey and pre-ape on the planet before the monkeys and apes. Can you imagine that? That's before how old they are. Before the monkeys and apes. I mean, not this one's been here that long. No, but that's, this, that would be old. It'd be old. Yeah, it would be an old. But look at the hands. I don't think you see it on TV. Look at the hands there, just like your hand. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Yes. Just little hands like yours. And what is this related to? Uh, this is in this is in the uh, the, the primate family, obviously. Uh -huh. And this animal, by the way, it's amazing. When I go to Africa and film these at nighttime, everyone, you go out there with your cameras, infrared cameras, you see red eyeballs everywhere out there. They separate at nighttime, and that's where they eat their little insects, a uh, little uh, like little uh, worms, things like that, <laughs> and fruit and that uh -huh. type of thing. And, and this th was rescued from somewhere, right? Right. That's a rescued animal. Someone had that as a pet, and that's what you cannot do, everyone. Primates carry diseases. They bite. And Why am I holding it? I <laughs> That's what I asked. Them. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, but this this one's been raised uh, in a right. zoological park. They're very soft. Very very, very soft. soft. They very soft. They change very little in, in, in the tens of thousands of years. Oh God, Thank you, Mel. it's Go amazing. Ahead. Thank All you right. so much. What's your name? Mel. 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 Thank you, Melanie. All right. Here's your mommy. <laughs> Doesn't really care to be with but me. But they're a neat creature but to film at nighttime. Like... If you go on oh. night safaris. God, that's amazing. That's just beautiful. You gotta go to Africa All with right. me sometime. I know. I want to go. I keep saying I want to go. Now we have a large bird. All right. Now this bird, this everybody, this is great. I've never had one of these on TV ever, ever. Okay. This is a screamer. Now. Let's give it some things. Oh, hurry. Here, here, here. Come here. Come, here. come here. Come here. You want some corn or something? This is a screamer, Ellen. Uh huh. That's what it's called, a screamer. Yes. It dates back to the dinosaur. Egg. It's got a big bone in its chest, like a dinosaur. Uh huh. And this animal also it looks screams. Like... This is a male screamer. It, it also looks like it, it could be a, a turkey. Or it, something. Do, it looks it looks kind of screwed up, doesn't it? Uh -huh. But it's not. Everybody, listen. This animal here screams, and all the females come to him, all right? And then he, he obviously, those are his females. Uh -huh. And then that way, if another male comes around, he takes his wings like that, and there's a spur. I need out for you to show the TV, the people at home. This is gates back to the dinosaur. There's a spur on the end of his wing. I think it shows on the camera. It's amazing. And this spur, when you look at there, see right there on the end of that wing, look at that uh -huh. thing, like a bolt, like a dart. Uh -huh. Isn't that amazing? Wow. And that's how he tears apart the other birds, the other males that try and come and get his females. That's not nice. Oh, yeah, he loves, he loves lettuce. Lettuce? You want some lettuce? That's they, oh yeah, they live it. They live in, 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 in water, not up to over there. They're like, oh, they're like a big turkey's foot. You want this? They live in water, and the animals eat lettuce like this. They also have a horny tongue, because the tongue, <laughs> the, the, it's got like, um, that wasn't the right word. My information said that. They they have a tongue with like spurs yeah. on it, but that, that's on. what they said, and that that's so he can tear the lettuce. So we want to take this away now oh, you, because you, you we have the next animal. Yeah, we'll, we we, don't, we'll want, over here. we no. don't want this one near the next animal. Here's some no, more lettuce. No, we sure don't, no. No. And this next animal won't eat lettuce. It'll eat you. Yes, that's what I, I know. So are we going to feed the next animal? Oh, yeah. We'll go over here, though. Okay. Make sure we get that one far away. You? All right. This is a... This is an alligator. Alligator. And the difference between an alligator and a crocodile well, is... Well, the crocodile has much uh, uh, ridges on top are much uh, longer, its nose is more pointed, and the teeth are different. But they can outrun any human being in the first 20 yards. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of nervous. Um, so 
And no. this is also a rescue. This was someone, a, a crack house? Is that where you got this? Right. It's where and David Jackson rescued. Someone has, people st tend to still bring gators back from Florida. It's little ones, right? That's fine. People think they can do that. Don't do that because what happens is it grows into a big gator and then, of course, you could get eaten and that's not well, a good why, thing. Let me ask why this is okay or is it that we're standing here? Why is this? Well, this, come here, David. D David raises this alligator so, for a youngster. We teach us to teach folks about the alligator. And what I want to show you, if the camera can show you this, let me show you his eye here. I'm, they have two eyelids. On the camera, you can see this eye right here. If you can see underwater, the animal has two eyelids. He'll open his eye here in just a second. He'll open his eye here in just a second. <laughs> he will open his eye in just a second. And you'll see another eyelid pop over there. There we go. Wow. See that? So that it can see underwater. It has little goggles. Right. Goggles. It has built-in goggles. It, they have sensors, Eleanor, here. They have sensors here. A gator hunts with vibration. People don't realize that. You can be swimming or something about two miles away. They feel the vibration in the water like sonar. He comes up and grabs its prey, whatever, whatever it might be, and then he pulls them down like that. You just don't get around a gator. There's so many of them in Florida now. No. Come here, David. I want to show you that real If we could show you down this mouth quick, here. Real quick, before we go to break, tell yeah. me what. I, I want to show you his mouth. People wonder why they don't drown underwater. What you have here, you have a flap back in there. Oh, uh -huh. You can see the flap. See uh -huh. back down in there? Yep. You see that flap? That keeps the water from going back in his throat where he doesn't drown. He grabs his prey like this. That's but amazing. They, and it just is letting you do that? It's just actually, it's... He loves him. This alligator loves him. <laughs> He's trained. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you, too, and I want to protect you. What do you have for us now? I think we have some owls here, I think. Okay, we have... We have the, the world's smallest owl, one of the world's smallest owls, and we also have, in just a second, one of the, the world's largest owl. And I get to hold him? So He's pretty heavy. He's pretty heavy. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi. And this is not a baby. This is... This is right. This is this animal's this is 10 years old. Grown. 10 years one? old? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my That's God. That's everyone is a screech owl. You have a burrowing owl, one of the smallest owls in the world. This animal likes these it's insects little, as well. It's little hook... It's, sorry, that's not me. That's now, these me. animals, everyone have been hit by cars. I don't know if you know this, but we get, they, the Columbus Zoo, a lot of zoos throughout the country get animals, owls, turning them like, you wouldn't believe how many hundreds and hundreds are hit by cars at nighttime. Now, I, what I, would this eat? Because big owls eat like mice and right. things like that, this, right? This would eat like little worms, insects, a lot of insects, uh -huh. by the way. And they eat little worms and things like that. Oh. And real tiny little mole, bowls and bowls and things. And they're so necessary because they, they really do control the, the whole rodent population they just help. naturally without having to right. kill them. They say the, the barn owl could eat up to 30 mice in one hour in, 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 a, in a person's place. That's why my owls are so valuable to our environment. Yeah. Okay. And, and both, oh, yeah. If you're asking this question ever, what animals found on every continent except Antarctica? Owl. Thank you. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, well, I was trying. Hold on to it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. With this other thing yeah. happening, I'm holding on to it? Yeah, yeah watch it's this, It's not going to get scared? Watch this, here. Okay, no one flinch. Just stay still. Sophia! Whoa. Whoa. Is that beautiful what? Wow. Man. Beautiful. Wow. Every time I see that... I, Every time I see that, I get... Isn't that amazing? It's, I, and, and so quiet. That's how they catch the mice, because they don't make any sound. Hence the name, the bird of silent flight. Did oh. you, I mean, Ellen, I don't know if you folks heard this. Ellen heard, didn't hear anything, and you folks didn't hear a thing, did you? The bird of silent flight. Six <laughs> inches over your head, Ellen. We'd never hear it. Look at the t talons on this bird. It is beautiful. Look at those. 500 uh, pounds of pressure in that And foot. this is what kind of owl is this? The Eurasian eagle owl, the largest <laughs> in the world. An eagle owl. Yes. All right, well, this is fantastic. Can I have a little one? Yes. <laughs> Okay, great. God, that's cute. It's just, they know each other, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but you're seeing the smallest owl in the world and the largest owl in the world. Not many times have you ever, oh, I've never done this, the smallest and the largest owl in the world. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I love this. I love the, hi, baby. And I, I want to thank Ellen Public, everyone, for her love for the animal <laughs> world. A lot of folks in her position don't show that love, but on her show, that's why we come here. I love that her love of the animal <laughs> world. Really good. Thank you. You're great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, Jack.